Hello everyone, Jake here. Recently I made these sound panels right here with the cheap acoustic foam. Uh, it made one heck of a difference in the shop. I also put some floor foam down and some corner stuff. I don't really like the corner stuff that well, but this stuff worked pretty well, but the ceiling is flat, the walls are flat, there's nothing on there. So today we're gonna make some DIY uh, sound panels with insulation in it, and I'm gonna use leftover wood I have from other projects. It's just gonna be cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, the sound panels, are they're not that expensive if you're only buying one, but if you're gonna buy 12, it's overwhelmingly expensive. So I'm gonna show you how to do some DIY ones today. We'll put it up here. I have a test already from when I, I even put this up. So here's the test before I even started. Go test, test, test. And here we are now, test, test, test. So let's go make some panels. This insulation right here is Owens Corning 703. It's two inch thick. They also have one inch thick. I'll have links to both of them below so you can check it out. And uh, But you just remember that this is insulation. So use a respirator and gloves and everything when you're using this stuff. Basically, it's two inch thick, two feet by four feet. So all we need to do is make a frame that's a little bit deeper than the insulation. I'm gonna do that with the table saw. I'm gonna use some leftover two by fours. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on this thing. So uh, if you don't have access to a woodworking shop or whatever, if you don't have tools like this, then go ahead and just buy material that's the right thickness and, and width, and you'll be able to do just fine. All right, let me explain what I'm doing for material. This is a two by four. <laughs> Our insulation is two inches thick, so I want this two and a half, and I'll explain that in just a second. So I cut this to two and a half on the table saw. And then I turn it like this and I cut it in half this way. These are gonna be the walls that we're gonna to make to put the insulation in. And imagine there's another one right here. And then this off piece right here is gonna be support underneath. So then the insulation will sit right there. So that's what the extra half inch is about. There you go. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of that. I put the insulation on the table and just put the wood around it and kind of, instead of measure, I just put it up there and then mark it. And then I go to the miter saw, set the stop blocks at that mark, and then I cut them all the same. I don't think it matters which way you need to screw which board into which board, like the long boards be on the outside or the inside. I'm gonna hang these panels up both directions and they're not very heavy, so I really don't think it matters. And I'm gonna have the support pieces in the middle, so I think it's all good. You just got to make you a box. I have all the pieces cut for 12 boxes. I'm going to make 12. I have 12 pieces of insulation. So I'm going to make 12 boxes and it probably still won't be enough, but it'll give me a good start and I'll get some experience doing it. These are two and a half inches. When I cut off this to make it two and a half inches, this is the off cut piece. I made it a half inch. So the insulation is going to fit in there and then this will fit in there like that. And then it should be flushed with this. So this is actually gonna hold the insulation in there nicely while we're doing the upholstery part of it, or doing the material. And then this is also gonna help us hang it on the wall too. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna glue, uh, pre, I'm gonna glue these, pin nail them, and then after the glue dries or whatever, I'm gonna drill countersink and screw it together. And then we can move on to the fun stuff. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on each joint and then line it up the best you can. This isn't have to be fine furniture making or whatever. So just pin nail it and the glue, let the glue do its job. And then you come back and drill it and then get your countersink bit, countersink it, and then go ahead and put your screw in. I put two screws on each joint and it should be good to go. So here we go. I'm going to do that 11 more times. So <laughs> I'll come back. I'll have them all done. I have 12 of these made. The insulation is gonna fit in here like this. And I'm gonna put a backing material on that, the outside of it so it's not exposed insulation in there. These are gonna be floating off the wall quite a bit. I'm gonna take you through this. I'm not gonna wear a respirator on this one. I'm only gonna show you one. The other 11 I'm gonna do with a respirator on. So this is insulation. When you do it, if you decide to do something like this, wear a respirator. I'm gonna talk you through this one and then I'm gonna put a respirator on, so thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna set this right here about an inch and a half, two inches away from the edges. This stuff does stick to this backing. So 
just make it to where it's gonna pretty much cover this. We just want the, the back of this thing to not be exposed. So this side looks good. Let me show you. This side looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I don't want this to hang over this because this is gonna get in the way of the other side and I'll show you that in a second. So pretty much a little bit less than that. You can measure this out and do it all like that, but I'm kind of not that guy. I'm kind of a, I just do it visually and kind of do what you gotta do. And I'll do the other side also. So this thing is cut all the way around. And obviously when you do the corners, they're gonna be crazy. So I already cut, I cut this right here. So now I'll put this up here. And cut that. Pretty good. Do that to all the corners. This pretty much, uh, it kind of sticks to this a little bit. So you'll be able to move it around or whatever. So all I'm gonna do Flip it over and then get this frame and set it over it like that and it should slide down over it. And there you go. So this is going to be the back of it. Looks all right. Of course, here's the front. See, I was probably better to cut this a little short than have it a little long. Now I have to cut this so the, the top will be flat and nice. But pretty satisfied with that so far. All right, I wanna have enough overhang on this to be able to put, pull this up and wrap it around and staple it to the backside. So I kind of gave myself about five inches from this way and five inches from this way and I made a mark right there. So I'm gonna put the corner of this right there. Is that six sticks to it a little bit? <laughs> so that's gonna be plenty right there to tighten it up and get it there, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little mark out here. Put one here. <laughs> Just measure five inches all the way around this thing. And that'll give us, you might even need more after this one. Of course, by the time I get finished with all of them, I'll be pretty good at it. This is pretty much where this, where this fold is. So I'm just gonna cut along this fold. We're not gonna be able to do anything with this right here pretty much. So. It, it's it's pretty much wasted, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to start, and I'll get this one in the middle, pull it tight. This little <laughs> upholstery stapler got off of Amazon. It's pretty cool. I'll put a link below. It staples this stuff down without tearing the material up. So here we go. And then I'll come over to the sides. Come over to this side over here. I'll come over here. I won't go all the way to the corner because we, we have to figure out what we're gonna do with this stuff. And I'll go ahead and get in between those two. I guess there would be nothing wrong with doing like a Christmas present gift here. So like that, but that's just thick. So once again, obviously I'm not a expert upholsterer, but we're going to cut some of this excess off. I'm gonna go ahead and get all these corners done and then trim off the excess and I'll show you 
Uh, I'll show you the good, bad, and ugly around here. This is probably not the best corner, but by the time I get done with 12, they'll probably be pretty, they'll probably be pretty good. So let me get all these done, and then I'll show you what this looks like at the end of it, and then I have something special to do to it. So this is pretty good for the first one, I think. I did that first one, I cut a bunch of material away and it kind of, um, I didn't like it. So what I did was just kind of put it together and then staple it back here and it, and it looks a lot better. And uh, I'm more confident in it. So here's the back, the insulation's covered up. Here's what the front looks like. The next thing we're gonna be doing is mounting it on the wall. And I'm gonna have a bunch on the ceiling and a bunch on the walls and there's gonna be different ways to do it. All right, everyone, we got these made and some have these have t-shirts on it. That's a, Illumilite is a big affiliate of mine. There's my logo, Heath Knuckles. That's the reason I got into resin casting. I got a couple flags here and then these ones, I got a couple Christmas colors. I'm not quite sure where everything's gonna go yet, but I need to find a way to attach these to the walls and to the ceilings. On the ceilings is gonna be hooks screwed into the ceiling with chains. And then on the walls, it's gonna be a French cleat system. And I'll show you that here in a second. All right, here is a French cleat system. All this is is a two by four cut, 45 degrees. This side's gonna go on this, and this side's gonna go on the wall, and they will fit together. They'll fit together like that. And I've already drilled some holes in there and pilot holes here. So all I'm going to do is put on my safety glasses. I'm going to put a little bit of glue around here. And I've already measured this. I'm going to leave this together while I do it so it glues, so it stays in a straight position. Go ahead and Make sure that stays in there well. In the meantime, I'm gonna put some kind of, I'll cut this down so it's not that much, but I'm gonna put it somewhere down here so that it has the same amount of space away from the wall, the top and bottom. And that way it's gonna look like a floating panel on there and it's gonna work better. I have my piece ready. I have a hole drilled in it. I have a lag screw right here. Um, I have that countersunk so that bolt head will fit down in there. And now we got to find a stud. Let's see if this works. <laughs> so here's one right here. I already measured up to where it's going to be appropriate. I want the bottom of that panel to be right here above this outlet. So right here, right there. I've already marked it the appropriate amount. And I'm going to leave that a little bit loose where I can move it. So I'm going to stick that panel up there and level it and then pull the panel back off and tighten that some more. So let's do that. Now it's time to put these on the ceiling. I have these hooks here that, that screw in. I have them in this already. Once again, the joists are 16 inches apart, so these are 32. And then, so I had to measure on the ceiling and to get all that stuff, it's kind of tedious, but wherever your joists are at, that's where you got to do it. These hooks look like this. And these look like this. And they're gonna do like this. And then go on here. There you go. And these really aren't that heavy, so I'm not sure if it, just a regular um, sheetrock anchor will work, but mine are going to enjoy, so that's, a, that's all on you. <laughs> all the panels are up. I did something special with them. I think they work well, but I just wanted you to, sh to show you what an untreated space sounds like, and I'm going to take you in there and just talk and show you what a treated space sounds like. This side of the room over here is where I'm gonna do most of the live streams. On that side over there is gonna be, I do resin over here and silicone over there. I have a lot more resin projects than I do silicone projects that I'm gonna put on live streams. So I've covered these with t-shirts that I've had over the years. Everyone on this wall 
on uh, any of these walls have uh, inspired me or become friends with me or encouraged me in some way, shape, or form. I have a couple more coming. Uh, go to Instagram to see uh, who gets that. I just don't have them yet. Uh, hopefully you can see how easy these are to make. I have a wood shop and all that kind of stuff, so it might seem intimidating, but if you just buy the material at the right size, um, anybody can do it. You just need basic basic tools and you can, you can do it. So don't be intimidated by that. These things are floating off the walls. I've had comments after one of my last videos talking about if you have it off the wall, then that helps out a lot more. Um, so I did the French cleat and I just left the two by four there at a 45 degree angle and it, it comes off the wall exactly right. And at the bottom I put a, a, two, a piece of two by four to space it off the wall the exact amount. So I think it turned out pretty well. Now I made 12 panels, but it wasn't enough. So where this acoustic panel here, this wall that's behind that, there's nothing over there. I'm gonna have these work in conjunction with one another. Um, this side over here, I'm gonna be doing more live streams right here. So I concentrated to make sure this was gonna be right. Now I take everything I learned and I'm, around the corner over there is gonna be where I do podcasts. So that'll be totally different, but I'll take what I learned from this and apply it to that at that time. So over there, it's not as good as here, but it's still way better over there. 500 square feet, 12 panels, it wasn't enough. That's a lot of surface area for the ceiling and the, and the walls. And I think the floor is probably a bigger deal than, than what, what people think because I had to put the, the mats down on the floors over here. Totally big difference on the last video. So I'll put a link to that one below. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the sound before anything and then after the, the acoustic panels, and then after these panels. So here we go. Go test, test, test. <laughs> test, test, test. <laughs> test, test, test. It's totally dead in here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for making it to the end, and we'll see y'all next time. Y'all be good.